in this problem es is given es is equal to 100 e raised to j into this is this format k dot r okay into unit vector ax volt per meter so when question is es is given like this you know you should uh, realize this is in this format so k dot r where r is x into ax plus y into ay plus z into az you know that so from this you can write the vector k as x term is not there so it will be 0 ax plus 0.866 ay plus 0.5 az so this is the k vector then you are asked to calculate omega lambda uh, magnetic field component that is h and average power so first uh, trying to calculate omega and lambda so you know that when k is given the magnitude of k is similar to beta okay so if you first thing is you have to calculate the magnitude of k to get beta that will be equal to square root of 0.866 square plus 0.5 square you will be getting this as 1 so you got the value of beta then how to calculate omega omega uh, you have the equation beta is equal to omega by velocity okay so to get omega it is beta into v it is a free space so v will be equal to velocity in free space that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 so beta is 1 1 into 3 into 10 raised to 8 meet, uh, so omega that will be radians per second so, omega value will be 3 into 10 raised to 8 radians per second. So, you got omega. Next, lambda, you know that 2 pi by lambda is beta. So, lambda is 2 pi by beta. Again, beta value is 1. So, it will be 2 pi. That is 2 into 3.14, 6.28 mean. So, first two values you got. Next, what you have to calculate is magnetic field component. That is H. And... The expression you should remember is k cross e is equal to omega mu into h. So, this is the expression. So, how to calculate h? Vector h will be 1 by omega mu into k cross e. Both k and e are vectors. So, to calculate k cross e, ax, ay, az, Matrix method is easier to calculate the cross product. K x component that is 0 then 0 0.866, 0 0.5. And what about E? E, e is written like this. It is just having the x component. So, you can write it as this entire term you can take it as say C. So, x, only x component is there. So, I am writing it as C, y component and z component will be 0. Okay. So, you will be getting ax into, there is no x component, then ay into 0.5c minus 0 plus az into, again this minus. So, minus 0.866c. C is the con the uh, magnitude part of ES. So how you can write it? You can write it as hundred C is hundred e raised to j into point eight six six y plus point five is said. This much is the C part into point five a y minus point eight six six a z okay and this again there is 1 by omega mu part so this divided by omega you know that it is 3 into 10 raised to 8 into mu mu will be 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 so this is how you calculate h and you will be getting the final answer as 0.1325 into ay minus 0 0.2295 into az h
into e raised to this e raised to j term e raised to j into 0.866y plus 0.5z ampere per minute. So this is the final answer. You can do it and check if you are getting the final answer. And the last part is to calculate the average power in the wave. Uh, in the wave. So average power always the equation will be P average that will be equal to E0 square by 2 eta. Here it is free space 2, 2 eta naught into AK. It is in the direction of the propagation. Here it, it is not a single a unit vector say AX, AY or AZ but it is AK means this uh, this uh, this is the vector that is we can write it e0 square means the magnitude is 100 square 100 square divided by 2 into 120 pi this much is there into 0.866 ay plus 0.5 a z divided by this square root of 0.866 square plus 0.5 square that is 1. So unit vectors uh, vector divided by magnitude is this 1 itself. So this is the final answer and again on multiplying you will be getting 11.49 into unit vector Ay plus 6.63 into unit vector Az watt per meter square. So this is the average power.